are you looking for high yielding dividend stocks that you can add to your portfolio to help you reach your passive income goals? If so, you have come to the right channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys three different stocks that are high yielding dividends that you can add to your portfolio. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Abdul. On this channel, I talk about dividend investing and personal finance. If that interests you, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of new videos that I post every single week. Coming in at number one, we have Realty Income Corporation with the stock symbol O. Realty Income Corporation is actually a REIT, which stands for Real Estate Investment Trust. So REITs are basically, they invest into real estate properties, okay? So their business model is basically, they buy different properties, they manage it, they rent it out to bigger organizations, usually bigger companies like Walgreens, Walmart, and etc. And then they collect the rent. After they collect the rent, they pay out all their expenses, whatever is left, they pay it out to us, the investors. So I usually do a lot of my research on seekingalpha.com. So here you can see on the screen, I've pulled it up, Realty Income Corporation with the stock symbol O. And currently the price is $61.12. So if you look at, if you go to the dividends and you look at uh, the dividend scorecard, you can see it has 4.58% starting yield, which is pretty good and an annual payout of $2.80, which is also pretty good. And you can see over here, the dividend frequency, they pay out monthly. The reason why you wanna get it this week is also because the ex-dividend date is coming up, which is going to be uh, August 31st, 2020, okay? And then if you look at their payout ratio, it is 84.08%, which is also really good for a REIT. Uh, this is usually you want it to be no more than 60% but for REITs, REITs because of tax reasons their payout ratio is usually higher than the 60% okay and if you look at their five-year growth rate they've been growing at 4.38% and if you also look at the dividend growth they've been growing their dividends for the past 25 years which is good so for the past 25 years, they've been consistently increasing their dividends. And that's what we want as dividend investors. If you go to Realty Income Corporation, let's go to their actual website for their investor relations, okay? So let's take, for example, I pull this up, the magic of, uh, the magic of rising dividends, okay? So let's take, for example, if you had invested in this company in 1994, when this REIT uh, started, right? and you had purchased 1,000 share. At that time, 1,000 share would have cost you $8,000. And then if you were to look at it by June 30th, 2020, that would have been worth about almost $60,000. And if you go all the way to the right over here, the dividends you would have received from 1994 all the way to 2020 would have been $42,220. And that is 528% uh, of what you invested in. So that just shows you the magic of rising dividends over time, okay? So this is why I believe in using dividend investment to grow my portfolio, okay? Because they pay you the dividends, then you use it to buy more shares of the company. As a result, you get more dividends. As time goes on, it compounds. Okay, so that is the magic of rising dividends. And coming in at number two, we have PepsiCo. Uh, their uh, biggest brand is Pepsi, okay? So PepsiCo, they make other brands. If you go onto their investor relations website, you will see some of the other uh, global brands that they have. Obviously, they have Pepsi, they have Lay's, Mountain Dew, Doritos, Gatorade, Tropicana, Quaker Oats, uh, the Lipton Tea, uh, and it's and so much more. If you go on to Seeking Alpha and you take a look at their dividends as well, just to take a look at their dividend scorecard, you will see that Pepsi has a starting dividend yield of 3%, which is really good, which comes out to an annual payout of $4.09. And then 
their payout ratio is 76 30 again which is really good and if you look at their five-year growth rate they have 8.41 percent and a dividend growth of 48 years that is absolutely crazy again you would want to buy it this week because pepsico their ex-dividend date is september 3rd and they only pay quarterly okay so if you don't get it by september 3rd you're gonna have to wait almost another three months to to get the next um dividend okay so even if you don't get it this week if you're watching this video let's say two weeks from now or more i still think this is a good company to buy these are uh, blue chip stocks so these stocks you could keep it in your portfolio i'm gonna most likely keep most of these stocks in my portfolio for the rest of my life because these are like really really good companies that are going to be here for a very very long time this upcoming dividend that they are gonna pay is gonna be a dollar and about two cents and coming in at number three we have home depot with the stock symbol hd okay so again let's go into uh seekingalpha.com and i've pulled it up already home depot over here with the stock symbol hd if you look at the uh, uh, starting dividend yield is 2.12 percent again that is good you want somewhere between two percent to four percent or five percent anything that is above that five percent sometimes you can start to be a little bit iffy why their dividend is i mean their dividend yield is so high you know sometimes if the dividend yield is too high it means that the company may also have some sort of financial troubles and so they are trying to cover it up by giving out more in dividends you don't want it to be too high but you also don't want it to be too low so 2.12 percent is a good uh, dividend yield for me and if you look at how much that 2.12 percent comes out to annual uh their annual dividend payout that is six dollars so that's a good amount of dividends in my book and their payout ratio is 52.88 percent that is actually the sweet spot that i like uh the payout ratio around that 50 percent mark and for the uh, past five years their dividend dividend growth rate has been 23 point six eight percent and that is again that is absolutely solid right there so the dividends has been growing quite consistently for the past five years and you can see that they've had consistent growth for the past 11 years over here we'll want to get this dividend by september 2nd so that you could get the next dividend payout of a one dollar and fifty cents because they only pay quarterly if you don't get it before september 2nd there is absolutely no problem you could just get it because i'm going to be holding on to home depot for a long time reason being is that even though through this pandemic they have been doing pretty well they are considered an essential uh store so their store wasn't shut down you could see uh, a lot of people were still going to home depot especially a lot of you know People were staying home and you know guys they like to drill stuff they like to make stuff a lot of people are into DIY so and especially if you have a lot of time on your hand and you are sitting at home you're gonna want to do something so Home Depot I believe is gonna be here for quite some time those are the three stocks that I have for you this week that I think are absolutely going to crush it going forward um, so if you find any value in the video make sure to like it subscribe to the channel and if you haven't started investing in dividends yet and you would like to start you could join the same platform that i'm using which is m1 finance i'm going to leave a link down below that you can use my link to get started with m1 finance and they will give you 10 free dollars okay or uh, if you want to start using Robinhood, i also have a link for that as well i'm going to leave it in the description down below as well if you found any value in the video make sure to like it subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments down below which of these three stocks you are going to be buying this week until next time stop waiting start doing and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video peace and love to all of you out there